A row has erupted on X, formerly Twitter, between Cal Benjamin, Sargon of a card of the uh, Lotus Eaters podcast, and Labour MP Jess Phillips. Now this is round two, because round one happened a few years ago during a general election, when Cal Benjamin stood as a UKIP candidate, and when he was asked about uh, something that Jess Phillips has said about him, he replied with, and I quote, I wouldn't even rape her, unquote. Now, I was on YouTube back then, it was when I was starting out, and I made videos about this, and and I believe I was correct, uh, still to this day, when I said that it was quite a stupid thing to say. Whether he was joking or not, Jess Phillips, the Labour Party, the mainstream media, they all weaponised it against him, and it was all over for his political career. For a while, he was known as the guy who made that joke. Now, if you're going to become a politician, you know, you've got to be careful with your words because your words are magic. So anyway, fast forward to present day, 2024, and the pair of them are at it again. And again, it's Jess Phillips who initiated it. Now, she wrote a letter to Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, telling him to deselect Liz Truss as a Tory MP because of her imminent appearance on Cal Benjamin's Lotus Eaters podcast. And here's the letter here. I don't know why it's so dark, but that's how it was posted on Jess Phillips' uh, ex-account. And this letter is full of lies, misinformation and a character assassination. Of course, Cal Benjamin immediately defended himself, and rightly so, because members of Parliament simply cannot get away with writing such libel and blatant misinformation as well, that he had to call her out on it. And she hasn't even deleted it, even though the whole letter... Uh, is is just utter hogwash. The left go on about misinformation, but the biggest peddlers of misinformation on earth are the left. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, Jess Phillips. She is another Angela Rayner, someone who's well above their station in life, a complete foul-mouthed fishwife who brings disrepute to Parliament every time she opens her mouth. Even the left-wing, bigotry-infested LBC radio station, they went along with it before deleting their tweet. And this letter makes vile reading. It really does. First of all, she called him an extreme far-right commentator. Cal Benjamin isn't far-right. People like Jess Phillips like to use the term far-right in order to demonise people and make them look like Hitler. That's why they do it. And then she said he had despicable views about violence against women. No, he doesn't. The guy has a wife and child. And by the way, Cal Benjamin, uh, back in that general election when he was a UKIP candidate, he responded the way he did, because Jess Phillips laughed at the suicide rates amongst young men here in Britain. And amongst other twaddle she wrote on this letter, she claimed that uh, Cal Benjamin recently launched the group Hearts of Oak with far-right thug Tommy Robinson. Well, neither Benjamin nor Robinson have anything to do with Hearts of Oak, and it was nothing that was launched recently. And besides, she never appeared on a podcast with Carl Benjamin. She appeared with Connor Tomlinson. It's transpired Liz Truss has never been in contact with him, never met him, and never spoken to him. And Connor Tomlinson, according to him, is a Conservative Party member. And they didn't even discuss conspiracies. They talked about uh, her time in government, the polls, the next election, and that's it. So there we go, Jess Phillips told a lie. LBC Radio in London, they broadcast that lie before deleting it and not even bothering to correct themselves. And her post is still up there, the letter's still on X. And will she issue a public apology? Of course not. People like Jess Phillips don't do that. Then again, these people think it's okay for them to lie about people and make themselves out to be the victims when, in fact, they're the perpetrators. The dirty, dirty smear merchants, to quote Carl Benjamin. And there we go. I'm Past 49. Thanks for listening, and until the next time, Roger Trout.